all right everybody we have a special treat for you today we're doing some more dehydrating and we're doing a little experiment here we've already done dehydrated rice before we cooked it and uh, spread it out and dehydrated it and it's rice already we did one cup we have one cup of rice two cups of water mm -hmm. and it's cooked she's rinsing the um, the starch off. The starch off of it right now, which is non-seasoned, nothing in it, just water and rice. And you might ask yourself, well, why would you want to dehydrate rice and put it back dry again like it was before we cooked it? Well, now, basically, it becomes like a minute rice. So you just add hot water after it's dehydrated. We'll get to that here in a little bit. I'm getting ahead of myself. And then... Uh, you have rice in just a matter of minutes instead of waiting and having to have boiling water and waiting until it boils and 20 minutes, 20 minutes and all that other good stuff. So she's going to put it on this tray right here. Sort of rinse it, it get the starch off of it as much as possible. They say people with diabetes, I've heard this, I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, eating minute rice is a little bit easier on you than just eating regular rice because of all the starch that comes up when you cook it. Yeah. And minute rice is all of that's taken out, so it doesn't. It's it's supposedly doesn't raise your um, your levels, your sugar levels up. That's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know. Y'all have to we have to look that up. Mm -hmm. Look what she's wearing today, y'all. I'm representing. Representing Southern Boy Prepper. We need to get some Homestead DIY shirts. I don't know where we get something like that, but that you would be cool. Let know that, uh... Yeah, uh, talked to Kelly this morning, and they are without power, internet service, and phone service right now. But they're doing okay. But they're doing fine. They lost a couple of boards off the roof from their, their blue roof. And... Uh, I don't think it's much of a, a big deal. He can get back up there and put the boards back on unless it tore the blue roof back up. I'm not sure. But I haven't been able to talk to him today. Just a couple of messages from uh, his wife on uh, Facebook Messenger. He was probably up all night last night. Yeah, I, I bet he was up all night long with this storm. Because the last message he sent me was, it's getting bad, bro. And uh, I'm sure he was freaked out a little bit. We'll see what... We're going to check on our herbs, see how they are doing. What is this one? Let me see. Uh, that's uh, cilantro. Cilantro. She's going to have to help me with... This is the basil. And it's still soft. It's probably going to take a while to... Oh, I know what this is. This is that stuff that I sit down up there for hours and peel. Man, y'all should smell this. What is this, the small stuff again? It was um, uh, Italian oregano. It's cinnamon, cinnamon basil. I think regular basil. Regular basil, okay. And now she's going to put some rice on. The rice is going to have to go for a different time. Rice is supposed to be set at 125. It says for five hours, but I believe that's depending on where you're at. If you have a lot more humidity, it's going to take a little bit longer. Yeah, we have a lot of humidity yeah, here. Yeah, so it's probably going to take longer. And see what we, the way, reason why we do it, they're doing it like this. So she did one cup of rice, two cups of water, and once we dehydrate it, we'll show you how much it shrinks down to. But that way you'll know when you do a serving, whatever you have stored, that you, you can measure out. A quarter of a cup of rice or whatever it is, we'll see when this is done, and you'll know that uh, that's the, uh, the full cup of rice after it um, rehydrates. Yeah, so when it's dehydrated, like minute rice, then you can measure it out. If it's, for example, measures out after it's dry. Yeah. If it's, sh you know, when it shrinks down and everything, if it measures down to like a half a cup or a fourth of a cup then you'll know that that will equal this cup of rice that we cooked. Okay. So, okay. All right, guys, and we have a special treat for you on this video here. And we're doing another giveaway. 
but give me one second. Back to the rice. Tell them again. This is one cup of cooked rice. Uh huh. We're going to set it on 125 for five hours and then we'll check it and see what it looks like. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me get the gift. Okay. For everybody that watches this video and shares this video, this video only, I'll put your name in the hat to get this Bunker Hill Security Wireless Alert System. Now, this is really, really cool because you can put this anywhere on your property or into your driveway by your front door. And when somebody goes by this little thing right here, it sends an alarm sound out to this deal right here in your house. And uh, it can go up to 400 feet away, and that is a long distance. Because y'all seen my property here, and I had one all the way out at the end, by the end of the driveway, and I had it all the way sitting over here inside my house. And anytime uh, somebody would cross that, like even the mail lady coming into the driveway to deliver mail or something like that, it would send the alarm off. Not that one, that one's by our front door. But there's my driveway one. And a little light flashes. So you can turn the volume off. And just have the, the strobe light on. So if you're trying to be incognito and want to be quiet, then uh, you can have that. This is a really cool system. And for everybody that shares this video, I will put your name in a hat. And next, uh, one week from today, so next Saturday, maybe about this time, uh, i got to make a note, make sure I do it at the right time. I'll do a live uh, feed and do a drawing for this uh, Bunker Hill uh, security uh, wireless alert system. Very cool, very cool item to have. Which I'll read it a little bit. It uses a 9 volt battery and 3C batteries sold separately. Now let me tell y'all, when I put the batteries in this thing, I put them in January and they lasted all the way till October for that 9 volt battery and the 3C batteries. And they were it was actually still working when I changed the batteries out. But I didn't want to take a chance of it uh, going dead me and not hear somebody coming in the driveway. So there you go. And I'll be back here in a little bit with some rice. Alright, and um, this was I'm okay, let me do this first. Let's dehydrated this rice uh, last year. And this is exactly what we're doing here now with this rice. And you can see how it looks dehydrated. Looks cool. And I'm going to put some water in a pan and we're going to rehydrate it and see what it looks like. Okay? Okay. And this, he never finished talking about these potatoes. My bad, y'all. I, Matt, I, I uh, cooked 10 pounds of potatoes, smashed them, didn't put any butter in them or anything, and uh, got them, I, I think I should have got them a little more thinner than I did on the, um, the dehydrating mats, but we dehydrated them, spread it, the potatoes out on the dehydrating mat, which I'm fixing to show you. Hold on. All right, this is a silicone non-stick sheet, and you, you have to order these separate. It doesn't come with your dehydrator. But anyway, I smear, I, I uh, spread the mashed potatoes out on these, and we dehydrated them, and then we broke them up, and let's put them in the. It was the coffee grinder. The coffee need. grinder, and he grounded these potatoes up, and this was ten pounds of potatoes grounded up. Ten pounds in that little bitty jar. And you can make instant mashed potatoes with these. Yeah, it won't take much either. Yeah, and I also have. I don't think I tell them about the Brussels sprouts either. Okay. All right. These potatoes right here, I boiled, I, I sliced them, and I boiled them until they uh, were cooked all the way through. You got to make sure they're cooked all the way through, or they'll turn like a grayish black color. I put these on the dehydrator and I dehydrated them. So these are like au gratin potatoes. And you could throw these in a soup if you wanted to, or you can make au gratin potatoes with them. 
So you have that and also have some that are cut up in little squares that you can put in soup as well. But these are, I don't think he has showed you these. I don't think I did. But these are Brussels sprouts. Yes. And I, I wanted to do a video today. I'll do one later. Um, how you can take frozen vegetables and put them right onto your dehydrator. You oh, can man. either thaw them out, rinse them off, or you can put them right on frozen. Y'all, y'all, if y'all like Brussels sprouts, take a whiff of that. Tell me how that smells. Doesn't that smell so delicious? But anyway, I dehydrated these and they're crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> but I put a little salt on them and they're good. You can actually eat them dry. Yeah. Or you can put water on them. Rehydrate them. Bring them up them. to a boil and rehydrate them. Yeah. And they're really good. I did these last year. At last, the end of the year. Yeah. So, they're good. Yeah. Well, I cannot give you specific times on these when we dehydrate because we live southeast Texas. Yeah, very... Very humid yes, down very here. Humid. So it depends on the day, the weather, what's going on, how long these items are going to take to dehydrate. Yeah. So he'll come back in a minute and I'll take, I'm going to do a half a cup of this rice and we're going to see how much it comes out to be. Yeah. And I'll put, I'll put like a half a cup of this rice and maybe what, a cup of water? Yeah. Do you remember how that went? I don't know. It's experiment because okay. I can't remember. Experiment. We need to write little instructions what on all this stuff. What do you? Uh oh. I think we'll get busy doing other stuff and we we'll forget about it. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. We'll be back. Um, also, remember everybody that shares this video, put their name in the drawing to win this wireless driveway system, driveway wireless security alert system. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're still working on uh getting y'all a uh, dehydrator um it's coming. it's coming just give us a little bit what you got there those are figs oh figs dehydrated figs mm -hmm. yeah that that's some good eats right there too yeah. they have, they're crunchy they're, they're really crunchy, crunchy sweet and good mm -hmm. dehydrated this figs. is a um a ground turkey soup i made in may yeah that is off the it's chain pretty good, good. And then, Les is scared to touch this. I'm not scared to mm, touch it. He is scared. He thinks he thinks I'm crazy. This is, I dehydrated this. I wanted to see how it would do. I've heard of people doing it. And this is, uh, there's that's, some that's, legs and thighs in here. That's um, not, that's not dehydrated. Um, yeah, this isn't. This is, this has been pressure can. Pressure can. I think they're all legs. There might be a thigh in there. I see the chicken leg right there. But, um. This is what they call raw packing. Raw packing? Mm hmm And you cook it, uh, and it's a, you don't put nothing in it. No water, no nothing in it, and it, it makes its own juice. Okay. So, I pulled one, I had another one like this, and I pulled it out, took all the meat off the bone, and I cooked, I made a stir fry with it, and it came out pretty good. Is that what you and fed he me? he didn't know that I did it. <laughs> and he was surprised that it Sneaky. came out good. Sneaky. He was scared because the bone is in it. Yeah, I, I don't want no raw chicken. It's not raw. But I didn't get good. sick, so it must have been good. Yeah, I have, to, I have to get him sometimes like that to get him to try it. Oh, um. Terry Maddox. Here's the potatoes. Uh, you might know something about that. Here's some more potatoes. These are some other potatoes I did. Now I cut the I did these on my little um, dicer. Yeah, it's chopper. like it's a chopper. You can you, you, people mainly use it to do onions and other vegetables, but I did the potatoes so they would be kind of evenly evenly um, cut. Dehydrated. And I cooked them until they cooked through, and then I dehydrated them. And these are really good. I've actually rehydrated these, and uh, I put them in a bowl. And put some water and put them in the microwave and rehydrated them. And then I added them to eggs. Ah. I made eggs and bacon or eggs and sausage. With potatoes. With these potatoes. And they were it, it was really good. Oh, man. You, you can never tell 
you can tell that they have been dehydrated. So, pretty good deal. All right, just a little. Uh, we I told you we'd get back into it a little bit. I've just been really busy, guys. And yep, she have has. To excuse me. Uh, I'm I'm ready to get back to my canning. Have lots of jars waiting on me. Yeah, she and, has a lot uh, of jars. I'm ready to can some more meat. Yeah. Anyway, y'all have a good day. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna get the water going for the rice. All right, she's gonna get some water going. We're gonna try this dehydrated rice. I'll be right back with you. We're gonna do a half a cup of this uh, dehydrated rice right there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see and see how much it makes. Clean this up. But we'll be right back. All right, so I think we figured it out. We looked it up. We looked. She looked it up. So we're gonna try this in the microwave and let's see what what happens. So it's a half a cup of rice. For, for one cup of rice, it said one to two tablespoons of water in the microwave. Did it say for how long? Uh, I think so. Place in the microwave and heat for three to four minutes. Three to four minutes. Okay. So, so we're going to go three because our microwave gets very hot. Let's try the one tablespoon. Okay. I don't think that's going to be enough. Let's we'll do two. We'll put two, two in. It's not matter if it's a little wet. Mix it up a little bit. There we go. Half a cup of rice with two tablespoons of water. Mm -hmm. We should have tried one first, but this didn't look right, so we're trying two. And she's going to microwave it for three minutes. And we'll be right back. They're done in the microwave. She's fixing to pull them out and see what we got. It might not be ready, so let me see. I just did it for three minutes. Three minutes? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, is it hot? Well, the steam. Oh, don't let it burn you. Oh, you can't see it from here. You can't. <laughs> That's the only thing I didn't clean in this kitchen yesterday. <gasps> that wasn't enough water. It wasn't enough water? I don't know. It looks kind of... Oh, no, my God. It burned it. That's hard as a rock. I'm doing it again, and I'm going to do it with uh, more water. I just... Okay, guys. Crazy. Don't don't follow our rules on that. Yeah. How about you delete that one? I'm going to delete it. I want him to see. <laughs> we messed okay. up. All right, we're going to try this again. We'll be right back. Round two. Round Take two. Take two. After we use a chisel and a hammer and a pry bar to get that one out of the bottom of the bowl. I'm okay, going to half a cup of rice. I'm putting more uh, water in it this time. Here's your spoon. You want to do, do, do three this time. Four. Nice. All right, we'll try it with the four. Half a cup of rice with four teaspoons of water, taste tablespoons of water. And we microwaved it for three minutes, and I think we're going to do a minute and a half this time. Yeah. All right, we'll be back. She's going to put this in the microwave after she mixes it up a little bit and see what we got. No, that's a lot of water. We'll just see what happens. We'll be right back. All right, this is oh, yeah. this is a minute and a half with three tables. Would you put three tablespoons of water? I did it for a minute. A one minute? And four tablespoons. Four tablespoons of water. Oh, that looks actually look a lot better than the last one. I think I should do it for the other 30 minutes. You mean 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's not done yet? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to do another 30 seconds and try that. Be right back. Alright, we come up with our own <coughs> uh, measurements here and we're going to see how this is and then we'll tell you what we come up with. That's it? Alright, tell them what the measurements is for the water, the microwave, and for uh, 
a half a cup of rice. Okay. We did it for um, the first time we did it. Okay, total seven tablespoons of water, a half a cup of dehydrated rice. And was it like three minutes to three minutes and 30 seconds? We kept checking it. So every, about every minute and a half, take it out and check it. No, every minute. About every I, I would do it three minutes and check it. And if you need to do it another, do an extra 30 seconds. Because I think we did it a minute and 30. And then another minute. Uh-huh. Right? I think so. But yeah. Yeah, every time she checked it, it was still crunchy, and this is this is right, right here, mm -hmm. right. I'll fix it. Let you taste it. All right, guys, I uh, got a phone call coming in. I'll holler at y'all later. Be good.